Hello and welcome to TFL Bike and today, if you can't guess, we're riding the brand new Ducati Desert X out in Snowmass, Colorado. We're going to do a big off-road loop and see how this bike does on-road, off-road, see how the tech is, the power is. It's our first chance to actually get on the bike and I'm pretty sure that these are the only Desert X's in the country right now. So, pretty special to even get to see these bikes up close but even more special to get to ride them. All right, it's time to fire this Desert X up, which is pretty damn exciting. So I've got it started out in sport mode. Also, while we're sitting here on the ground, I can actually flat foot this bike, which is pretty impressive because the bike has 9.8 inches of ground clearance. It's not a small motorcycle, it's decently tall. And even at five foot ten, I've got no problem flat footing. Here we go, getting moving. And this is gonna be a big exciting day because we're riding close to a hundred miles, a little bit of on-road riding and a lot of off-road riding. And um, yeah, should be some really gorgeous terrain. Quite the adventure on this bike. So a couple quick facts about it. 110 horsepower, 68 pound-feet of torque from this 937cc Testa engine. Similar engine to what you get in the new Monster and like the, uh, the Multistrada V2, but it's got a different transmission with different ratios because this is an off-road bike. wait until I get too hard on the throttle because we just started rolling, getting warmed up here. Transitioning onto our first little bit of dirt, I'm going to change my mode from Sport to Enduro, which, there we go, we're switched. This is the less aggressive off-road mode. There's also Rally, which gives you full power and it's got fewer rider aids but this is a sixteen thousand seven hundred and ninety five dollar motorcycle and uh i'm not really a dirt biker not really even an adv -er. so i want to keep this bike upright at some point i'd like to try out rally but to get our day started here let's keep it in this enduro mode and see how these rider aids do i mean so far going downhill decent amount of confidence grabbing the brakes I've got my brakes in their ABS-2 setting, which is a setting for off-road. So, minimal ABS on the rear. It will allow some slipping, even on the front. So you can grab brake without being worried that nothing is going to happen. Um, there are also full ABS, ABS completely off settings as well. The first thing you notice when you walk up to the Desert X is this crazy front fairing and headlight setup. Now this is apparently inspired by some Dakar bikes of the past, but it's still a super modern design. And this headlight signature, these running lights, two round lights, it looks so good. You also have a really unique pattern here on your windscreen where it fades from darkened and not visible to transparent, which is kind of a cool design. And then, all the way down the side you just have very subtle but very very stunning additional colors added to this really unique satin white finish the desert x is also massively customizable using parts that ducati themselves offer so you can see a set of additional lights that are attached to this additional crash bar here on the side because these bikes that we're riding out here in snowmass and in aspen are getting ridden pretty hard, so they need these crash bars. I used mine earlier today. You also have a beefed up skid plate on the bottom, as well as a Ducati branded cover to protect the radiator. Our bikes are also fitted with beefed up handguards, as well as some additional storage here on the center of the handlebars, but there's a ton more storage that you can add to the bike with aluminum top case, aluminum side cases, and soft cases as well. And our bikes also have these accessory exhausts with spark arresters on the back because we are riding trails. Even in uh, enduro, the bike will allow just a little bit of slipping, nothing too crazy, which is kind of nice. I mean, 
you can be pretty ham-handed with the throttle in this enduro mode and same thing with the brakes and it manages a lot of that for you also through these bigger bumps this suspension still just phenomenal really nice and plush usually at 165 pounds I don't have enough weight to uh <laughs> oh my god that was awesome uh, I usually don't have enough weight to really compress the suspension on a lot of bikes but this being an Italian bike built by Italians for Italians um, yeah it fits my size and weight perfectly <laughs> oh man this is cool definitely a pretty mild trail here nothing too techy which is nice because again I'd really rather not drop this bike if I can avoid it and these are some of the only desert X's in the country I think the only desert X's <laughs> oh man and landing off of those whoops, jumping them, it's so smooth. <laughs> uh, God, I love jumping the whoops on this bike. And the Ducati quick shift is really nice too, especially when you're trying to focus on where you're taking your lines. It takes a lot of the thinking out of the equation. The Desert X comes from the factory with a 21 inch lace front wheel and an 18 inch rear. And these are tubeless Pirelli Scorpion Rally STRs. But if you want a more off-road focused tire, you can get the Scorpion Rally. Or if you want a more street oriented tire, you can get the Scorpion Trail 2. Both of which are available when you buy the bike. So depending on how you want to ride, you can spec out your tires to suit your needs. All in all, the Desert X has an impressive 9.8 inches of ground clearance, 9 inches of travel in the front, and 8.6 inches of travel in the rear, which are all really good numbers. And even so, I can still flat foot the bike at 5'10". They do offer a lower seat, and you can also get a lowering kit for the suspension, which drops it from 34.4 down about an extra inch. But for most riders, it's really not going to be that necessary especially because it's also not an especially heavy motorcycle. Dry weight, 445 pounds, so it's not that difficult to, uh, to keep it upright. Even though I definitely put one on its side earlier today. Up front, the Desert X has a big five and a half gallon fuel tank, but if you want, you can also add an additional two gallon auxiliary tank on the rear for a total of over seven and a half gallons of fuel, which is a ton. And something interesting about this fuel tank, just a little design piece, is that your filler is off center, which I think is kind of an interesting touch. See how rally feels well pointed downhill so i'm not going to go full throttle downhill because it's still pretty bumpy here wow this is beautiful oh yeah <laughs> without even ringing it out the uh the rally setting will definitely give you a solid amount of wheel spin and definitely whoa, the uh, ABS, not as aggressive. You can feel that. I was used to the uh, Enduro ABS settings and it's happy to lock up in the rally mode. But again, all of that is selectable. You can tell it what you want it to do. So you can make the ABS like it is in Enduro, but still have the full power of rally. Now, 
man, yeah. You notice a lot more power and a lot more wheel spin it gives you in this rally setting. So I think I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable sliding this bike around. I mean, nothing crazy, but all these traction aids let you slide around a little bit, but nothing, uh, nothing too wild. You know, it keeps it within a controllable margin in this enduro mode, which is my favorite mode for sure. Because it's just way more approachable. Rally is for someone who's actually really good on dirt, which is not exactly me. But still having so much fun on this bike, even as someone who's not a really talented dirt rider, it's uh it's plenty approachable. Uh, once you get used to that feeling of a bike this size sliding around on you on this really loose dirt here in Colorado, super dry, uh, yeah, you start to trust that you know, these traction aids are going to keep you from getting too far bent out of shape. And uh, yeah, they make it pretty easy. And there we are back onto some pavement, switch into sport mode. There we go. It's pretty easy to do. I mean, I'm the least tech savvy person maybe at the entire company and uh, I can still figure out on the fly how to switch between the modes on this. So it's not too bad. Uh, the process of going in and changing the settings in your modes is definitely a little bit more clunky and time consuming, but you're not realistically going to do that while you're moving. Um, the quick features that you need to be able to access, pretty easy to get to. One of the things that makes the Desert X especially unique is all of the technology that you get. So you have a switch right here for cruise control, and then this switch right next to it controls your 5 inch TFT here in the center. And there is a ton of configurability with this screen. So if I hold down on the center, I can switch between my different riding modes and there are six different riding modes all of which are heavily customizable so here you can see a different layout for your information and i can go in hit riding mode sport and now i can adjust power to four different settings we'll keep it on full you can also adjust three different settings for abs you can adjust eight different settings for traction control you have three, four different settings for wheelie control, three different settings for engine braking control. Uh, you also have quick shifter on and off. And this is how you can change your info screen layout. So just a ton of customizability and you can go in and change every one of these parameters on every one of these different modes. And there's an easy button to take it back to default if you want, but that just gives you a ton of customizability. Here on some higher speed uh, roads that we're carving around in the mountains, you can definitely tell that suspension on these bikes is pretty squishy, which, you know, is not necessarily what you want for this kind of riding. Um, and you can tell that these tires have some off-road dedication. You know, they're, they're pretty good on the road. Overall, this bike is actually uh, surprisingly good on the pavement, but it's pretty squishy and these tires are not specific to pavement. There are more street oriented tires that Ducati recommends that you could put on this bike. There's also a more off-road set that you can put on them. These uh, Rally, these Scorpion Rally STRs are kind of a nice mix of both, especially considering that we're doing a little bit of on-road and off-road riding. So. I think with this bike, largely tires are going to be limiting factor. Uh, you could stiffen up the suspension a little bit, but it's uh, you know it's it's not a sport bike through the corners, but it's fun to ride on a windy road. It's really good. And when you really hit some of those higher RPMs. The bike starts to run, it really starts to sprint here in sport mode, getting the full 110 horsepower. 
it's worth ringing this bike out. It definitely rewards you staying in it. And that makes this a ton of fun. You know, it's not so much power that you can't twist your throttle and enjoy riding it on the street within reason, speed-wise, but um, it definitely it doesn't feel slow. This is as much power as I would say you want an adventure bike to have. It's much more than this, and it's gonna be kind of unwieldy off-road. So all in all, thoughts on the Desert X. This is a phenomenally fun bike to ride in all conditions really very few complaints about it um, it is expensive like I've mentioned which I've been a little terrified about the whole time I've been riding this off-road because I mean I couldn't afford to replace this bike so that's a consideration if 17 grand is nothing to you in a bike to beat up off-road um, then hell yeah pull trigger on it uh, it's really nice to look at really fun to ride super super cool tech great ergonomics uh, the tank is also a nice thing to pinch with your legs good fuel capacity good power um, good sound i mean a lot of good things to be said about the bike uh, you know a little bit of a jack of all trades and a master of none but uh but at the same time i mean if you're looking for an all-around bike especially to ride in terrain like what we have out here in colorado there's a lot of ways that you could do worse. There's also better value out there in other ADVs for sure. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this adventure video through Snowmass and over Aspen Mountain. And hope you enjoyed getting a first up-close look at the Desert X. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.